स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई लेक्चर्स ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स वे आर स्टेडिंग द चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोस्टेटिक पोटेंशियल एंड कैपेसिटेंस इन द फ्यू प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन अबाउट दी कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटर एंड ऑफ स्पेरिकल कैपेसिटर नाउ हियर वी विल सी द ग्रुपिंग ऑफ कैपेसिटर्स इट इज द टॉपिक इन विच यू विल सी द रिजल्टेंट कैपेसिटेंस वेन द कैपेसिटर्स आर कनेक्टेड इन अ पर्टिकुलर मैनर द फर्स्ट वन इज द कैपेसिटर्स इन सीरीज ना वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस capacitors in series it means that the capacitors are connected end to end it means if we have one capacitor then from the second plate of the first capacitor we are connecting another capacitor that is called as the series connection or end to end connection okay first of all how these capacitors they are represented these capacitors they are generally represented by this symbol okay and if we want to represent a variable capacitor means whose capacitance can be varied that is represented by this symbol with an arrow okay so here we will represent all the capacitors with this symbol whose value is fixed okay first of all capacitors in series here we have one capacitor okay at this end of the first capacitor we collect another capacitor and here we will connect one more capacitor okay so this combination is called as the series combination now here on this side we'll connect it with the positive terminal of the battery and here we'll collect connect it with the negative terminal of the battery now here what will happen that when we are connecting it with the positive terminal of the battery then this plate becomes positive charge and because of the induction this plate becomes negative charge similarly this becomes positive charge because of the induction that if all the negative charges that are coming on the one side then all the positive will move to the other side and this plate will also become positively charged in the same way this becomes negative charge it becomes positive it also becomes positive charge and this plate becomes negative charge because of induction okay now here we are assuming now here we are assuming that the capacitance for the first capacitor that is equals to c1 similarly for the second capacitor that is c2 and for the third capacitor it is c3 okay now in case of series capacitors or the end to end connection of the capacitor what happens the charge remains same means whatever the charge we are giving to the first capacitor the same charge is given to the second capacitor and the same charge is given to the third capacitor it means in the series the charges remains same on all the in uh, on all the capacitors but what about the potential i suppose if i have given a potential of v volt across the connection then the voltage gets divided across the three capacitors in accordance with the वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस मीन्स हर एक कैपेसिटर का जितना कैपेसिटेंस होगा उसके अकॉर्डिंग यहाँ पर वोल्टेज डिवाइड हो जाएगा मीन्स हियर आई कैन राइट द टोटल पोटेंशियल वी इज इक्वल टू वी वन प्लस वी टू प्लस वी थ्री बिकॉज दिस कम्प्लीट पोटेंशियल इज गेटिंग डिवाइडेड इन द थ्री डिफरेंट कैपेसिटर्स ओके नाउ वी हैव द कैपेसिटेंस वट इज द फॉर्म ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस सी इज इक्वल्स टू क्यू बाय वी सो हियर आई कैन राइट वी इज इक्वल टू q by c okay this is the total potential that we have applied q is the total charge which we have given and this c i can write it to be c equivalent means the total capacitance for this system now similarly from this equation i can write this v1 is equals to q by c1 from the same formula the charge q remains same but the capacitance and potential they are different okay Also, we can write V two is equals to Q by C two and V three is equals to Q by C three. Okay. Now here, let us give it as equation number one. So I will put these values in equation number one. So I can write using equation one, I can write Q by C equivalent that is at the place of V is equals to at the place of V one. I can write Q by C one. at the place of v2 i can write q by c2 at the place of v3 i can write q by c3 this q from both side gets cancelled 
So I can write 1 by C equivalent is equals to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So this is the formula to calculate the equivalent capacitance when a number of capacitors are connected in series. Also in class 10th you might have studied the combination of resistors in series and parallel. So whatever the formula we were getting in the case of parallel combination, the same type of formula we are getting in the series combination for capacitance. So this is how we can find the equivalent capacitance when a number of capacitors are connected in series. Now we will see the capacitors in parallel. Now what is the meaning of parallel combination of capacitors? In the, uh, in the parallel combination we see that across the two points a number of capacitors are connected. How they are connected? If I have one point here, point A, and if I have another point, point B, then across these two points, I have a number of capacitors connected. So these all capacitors are said to be connected in parallel. Okay, suppose its capacitance is C1, its capacitance is C2, its capacitance is C3. And across AB, I have connected a battery of potential V. Here, I can apply positive potential and here I can apply negative potential. Now here in this case the charge whatever the we are giving to the battery the charge gets divided and here it is positive terminal so this plate becomes positive charge similarly this plate becomes positive charge and this plate also becomes positive charge because all are connected to the positive terminal similarly here it will be negative charge it will be negative charge it will be negative charge now here there is no induction here there will be conduction why because these all three plates they are connected with the positive terminal of the battery and here this all three plates they are connected with the negative terminal of the battery okay here the charge gets divided but the potential whatever we are applying across the two terminals a b the same potential will be across each and every capacitor because all the capacitors are connected between the same two points. So here in this case, I can write this Q is equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Means whatever the charge we are sending through the battery, the same charge is getting divided in the three different capacitors. Okay, now we have this Q is equals to CV. If I assume this Q to be total charge, then this C will be the equivalent capacitance. And this V is the total potential that we have applied across the ends. Okay, now also I can write from the same formula that is Q1 is equal to C1 into V for the charge which is on the capacitor C1. So Q1 is equal to C1 into V. V is the potential that is the same across all the capacitors. And I can write Q2 is equal to C2 into V. And I can write Q3 is equal to C3 into V. I will give this equation as equation number 1. So I can write using equation 1. This Q that is equal to C equivalent into V is equal to Q1. Q1 kitna C1 into V plus Q2 kitna C2 into V plus Q3 kitna C3 into V. So this potential from both sides V that gets cancelled. So I can write C equivalent is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. So in this way we can find the capacitance of the capacitors when connected in parallel. So now you can see here that whatever the formula we have studied in case of the series combination of resistors, the same is here in case of parallel combination of capacitors. So the combination of capacitors and resistors, the formula is exactly inverse. Okay, so here while deriving the formulas for equivalent capacitance for series and parallel, you must remember that in case of series combination, the potential gets divided but charge remains same and in case of parallel combination the voltage remains same and the charge is divides so this is all about the grouping of capacitors in series and parallel